Hey guys, what is up and welcome back to the channel. It's so good to see you. I hope you are having a wonderful holiday season and I have a really fun video for you guys today because this beautiful package from Glamnetic has arrived. If you are new to Glamnetic, they are a beauty brand that is innovating the market with magnetic lashes. Now, I'm sure you've heard sort of about that new space in the beauty industry, but I myself have not tried the magnetic lashes yet. That is really hard to say, magnetic magnetic lashes. <laughs> Try saying that three times fast. I haven't tried them yet. I've just been a little nervous. Anytime something's new, I'm always nervous to try it for the first time, but this was a great little push because I think they have got to be easier for me. I am not a big fan of just the process of regular lashes, but I love the outcome. Anyone else feel like putting on regular lashes is a chore? Raise your hand, leave me a comment. Um, but yes, I'm really excited to try this. And they also sent some press on nails. Now Glamnetic was super kind to reach out about this collaboration. So they sent me these products in exchange for an honest review. So I will give you my real thoughts. I'm going to be trying them for the first time on camera. And I've got three lashes in here. So I'll show you some different options. I've got three nails and then I have the magnetic eyeliner. They have different eyeliners available, but I chose one that's most similar to what I would normally use. So we're gonna see how this goes. And that code for you guys, I'm gonna leave right here is sassy15 so that you can take 15% off your order. So definitely go check out this awesome brand. All right, so the first product that I wanna show you is the liner that I chose. Now this is a felt tip liner in the color Deep Space. So you can see they have really great packaging as well. I loved the little silver sleeve that everything came in that got me excited as soon as I saw it in the mail. And this packaging does not disappoint either. It's just, it's fun, it's got that kind of graphic logo and that holographic print. I just think that's gorgeous. And then you can see we have the felt tip pin here. This is what it looks like. And you can see we've got that felt liner. So we're gonna see how this goes. Okay guys, so full disclaimer, I have hooded eyes. So I chose eyelashes with that in mind. So if you've never heard of a hooded eye, basically what that means is that the upper skin fold kind of resting underneath your eyebrow area comes down and covers up a lot of your lid. So when I do my eye makeup, if you'll notice, if I look up, all of a sudden you see a lot more eyeshadow because as soon as I'm down at eye level, you're losing all of that. So I don't have as much space to work with. So when I start using eyelashes, typically what works best for me is something less dramatic because it's still gonna look more dramatic on my eye type. So I've gone fairly natural with a uh, maybe one that's a little fun just to kind of see how that goes. But uh, just to give you a heads up, that is how I chose the three different lashes that they sent me. Now I also typically do a winged liner, which is harder to do often when you do have the hooded eye. But for the purpose of the lashes, I am just gonna follow the lash line and get the eyelash to stick right where it's supposed to go. We're gonna try that out just as it is. All right, so first of all, I'm a sucker for cute packaging. Can we talk about this gorgeous package here? I'm gonna try to tilt it where you can see again, we've got that holographic print and it's like a holographic fuchsia that I just love. This lash style right here is called Verified. I'm gonna pull them out right here. Look at that. That is gorgeous. Those are super, super pretty. And something about their lashes, I will try to include a picture if I can find it, but there are little anchors on the inside and outside corners, I believe. And it's just a little piece of lash. You can kind of see that dot at the end there. It's a little piece of lash that comes off. So as I understand it, the anchor basically goes underneath the lash line and meets the top of the lash so that they kind of clip together and anchor onto your eye. I do think it's optional, but that is what the anchors are for. So that was again verified, which I think looks great. At the time that I'm filming this, the verified lashes are $23.99. I think they might be on sale right now when I'm filming this, but I could be wrong. Typically it looks like they hit around the $30 mark. So they are uh, more of a luxury brand for lashes, but I think these are gonna be the type that if you are careful with them, you can use multiple times, uh, which is awesome with the whole magnetic aspect of this. So I'm really excited. Now the next pair that I have here is called Lucky. 
and again this beautiful packaging all right and pulling those out look at how gorgeous those are too oh my gosh drama guys drama these are very long so we're gonna see how they look on me again I tried to do some research tried to keep my eye type in mind um, verified and lucky came up quite a bit and those lucky lashes also are $23.99 at the time that I'm filming this and my last set here I don't remember if I picked these out just going through the lashes or I think I did I think these I picked out without doing the recon but I did sort of find that for hooded eyes uh, lucky and verified seemed popular and then this last set here I picked out with that also in mind this one's different it's got a whole different aesthetic to the box and I think it's super cute it's like a little text chat going on these are the XOXO lashes so you can see right here, we have this little conversation going on. It says I can keep a secret. Kind of gives me Gossip Girl vibes, which has anyone watched the new one? Let me know what you think. I haven't seen it yet, but I did love the original Gossip Girl when it was out at that time in my life. So, all right, I'm gonna pull this out of the box and it says I can keep your secret. Maybe I read that wrong the first time, XOXO. And then these are just very, very delicate you can see i think these are going to work really really well for me um however for the sake of the video i think i'm going to go with a slightly more dramatic lash um in terms of trying for the first time it'll probably be a little easier to handle too but yes these are the xoxo which look awesome and they are currently 29.99 so go check them all out i think for the video i'm going to try out the lucky pair which are these right here okay i'm getting really nervous so i guess before i start let's start with the eyeliner so this is the deep space felt pen liner I've got my little mirror over here so that we can try on. All right, I've never, this is the first time I'm like doing my eyeliner on camera, so hopefully this goes okay. I'm going to try to stay right along the lash line. All right, so I've got one side of eyeliner on here. I should have read the directions first, right? Um, so you can cut them down to fit your eye width. It says to apply on the lash line, allow to dry, and then adhere the lashes. It did feel a little bit um, less creamy than some of the felt pens I have worked with. I typically use Stila Stay All Day just as a regular um, pen, so it's not as uh, liquidy. It didn't roll quite as smoothly, but it, did, it wasn't like hard or anything. I think that's probably just the magnetic aspect of it. But it was still very, very easy to put on. So let's see. For extra hold at the inner and outer corners, you can use the anchors to remove gently peel off lashes from either corner and you can remove with a regular um, makeup remover, waterproof makeup remover. So I don't, how do we know when they're dry? <laughs> Let's pat them off. Oh, I'm excited. I'm nervous and I'm excited to try this. Okay, hopefully they are dry. Now I believe this would be the side that I need here. This is exciting. I believe you're supposed to make the eyeliner about as thick as the lash line itself and I'm gonna try to show you now I know this is gonna be really hard to see this little guy right here is the anchor so they're very very tiny they obviously they do magnetize to the box because there's a magnet strip here so just make sure you put them back to that right away as soon as you take them off so that you don't lose them all right guys I don't know yet whether I need to cut these down or not but we're gonna just try this moment of truth let's see how this goes Is that it? Oh my gosh, you guys. Okay, I'm like, I'm tweaking with the corner a little bit. I think maybe I didn't carry my eyeliner in quite enough. Oh my gosh, that was the easiest I've ever put on a lash. What is going on? Guys, can we see this? Okay, these are a little bit long for me with my hooded eye. I can tell already in the camera, but that is seriously the easiest I have ever put lashes on. Wow, you guys. Um, okay, I'm a believer. So let me try with the anchor and just kind of see. Maybe that'll help on the inner corner. Let me see if I can figure this anchor thing out. Okay, so we're going to try to take this little tiny piece and anchor it underneath. Okay, guys, I'm not going to lie. I'm struggling a little bit to get the anchor on, but I think it is just because I did not carry my eyeliner in quite enough on this side. So let's actually try a different lash on the left side and I'll carry that eyeliner in more and we'll do the anchor over there. But 
that is literally the easiest thing I've ever put on my eye. Like eyelash wise, this took half a second. Um, I will say, I think just from kind of shifting it around a little bit, messing with the anchor, this, once you do start peeling off, it is going to rub off a little bit with it. So you would have to reapply obviously if you're going to make some adjustments. So maybe keep it with you, but this is the easiest thing. This is so cool. Okay, so since the XOXO was the pair that I thought might look the most natural on me, although the more I see this, I don't mind it. <laughs> it's this is bad. It's like, it's drama. I like it. This is pretty. Okay, but we're going to try the XOXO. Another thing I noticed on the website, I believe, is that this was called a medium cat eye style as well as the other pair that I am not putting on right now, the Verified. And then this one, I can't remember, it was called Rounded Something. So the styles are similar on the Lucky and the Verified and the XOXO are gonna be a little bit different. I'm literally so excited right now. This is crazy. You guys, I spent years doing theater and live shows and stuff and I'd have to wear lashes for those. This is so much easier. I had to put a lot of fake lashes on in my life and this definitely is the way to go. All right, so I'm gonna apply the other side of eyeliner. I can't talk, I'm so excited. All right, so the other side is applied. We're gonna let it dry, let it air off. I'm really excited too, because we're gonna be doing Christmas pictures soon. And I'm gonna be wearing the dress that I made back here out of, if you guys are following me on Instagram, by the way, I'm gonna leave that right here. I sew and I did a whole like thrift store flip where I sewed a dress from a tablecloth I found back there and I love it. And these are gonna be perfect as well as there's a pair of uh, their press on nails that I think are gonna look so good with it. So those are the ones I'm going to show you guys here in a second. I think we're probably dry enough. So let's try this XOXO pair of lashes. Okay, so here's this pair of lashes. You can see they're very, very natural looking. I think this is gonna work really well and we're gonna try the anchor again. I took that liner in further into my inner corner. Oh, this is so cool, I'm obsessed. I'm already obsessed with these. Now since I'm doing my left eye, which is gonna be a little trickier for me, I think I'm gonna bust out these little guys to try to help apply them. That is freaking crazy, guys. That is freaking crazy how easy they go on. Oh my gosh. What? Yeah, okay, I really do like this pair though. They're like, they have a lot of volume, but they're not as long. Which, which one do you guys like better? I can't decide, they're very different. This one's fuller and shorter, I feel like, and this one is longer and not quite as full. I don't know, I don't know, I like them both. They're very different. I don't know. Maybe I do like the long one. I don't know. I like them. I like both of them. Okay, let's try the anchor again now that I have this on. All right, let's see how this goes. Oh yeah, that snapped right on this time. I think I just didn't take it in far enough. Yeah. Wow, that is so cool. You guys, this is seriously so easy to do. I was, I've never done like a makeup tutorial or anything like this on camera, even though I've really wanted to try this kind of thing on video because I love anything beauty and fashion related. But for some reason, I've always been so nervous to do it. And I'm not kidding. This is the easiest eyelash I have ever put on in my life. Um, wow. That is definitely worth it. Now you could, if you wanted to kind of blend everything, which I do with normal lashes, you could take a mascara and kind of work it in. Although because these are magnetic and I think I'm gonna get several uses out of them, I think I'm gonna play around with not doing that. I feel like it looks pretty good without doing that. And then you're not messing the lashes up. That is so cool. Okay, I'm gonna take off the one on the left and I'm gonna put lucky on just so I look less crazy. Be right back. Okay, literally the easiest thing I've ever done. I can't say that enough, can't stress it enough. If you are someone that likes lashes but you hate the process, this is the way to go. Those anchors too, once I got the um, eyeliner 
further into my inner corner. I do like my eyeliner and lashes to typically go pretty far into my inner corner. It snapped right on. So as long as you've got the eyeliner where you need that um, anchor to go, it's literally going to feel, you're going to feel that magnetic click into place super easy. So wow, I'm a big fan. Now that I am all even on both sides, let's talk about um, the press on nails they sent. So we've got three sets of gorgeous nails here. If you have been a frequenter of my channel, you're going to already know when you see these that these are so me. All three pairs of these are so typical me. Um, all right, now I do have a pair in mind for this dress. So those are the ones I'm going to put on, but I am dying to try all of these. Let's talk about the sets I picked out. Thank you again to Glamnetic for thinking of me for this because I'm already obsessed. I already like press on nails, so I already know I'm going to like this. And this is a game changer. I'm in love. So definitely go use that discount code of sassy15 because these are amazing. Now, first, I wanted to go with something very, very classic, which is the Madame set that you're going to see right here. And it is a set of the traditional French manicure. It has a bit of a round slash point. It's sort of somewhere in that almond shape. And we've got this beautiful packaging again. It's kind of an icy pink with the holographic. And behind the nails that are displayed are different sizes. So there are sizes for every different size of nail. It's not just the ones on the front display. So you can see in the back, it contains the glue, the little cuticle stick, and other sizes of the nails. So again, you can see this beautiful French set here. You can never go wrong with a French manicure. It is definitely a classic, one that I go to often. And then I went fun on the other two. I'm gonna save the one I'm gonna apply for last, but I think this is so fun. Um, if you remember a while back, I did a really, really blonde hair with sort of a unicorn rainbow striping in it that I personally loved. It was just a lot of upkeep, but I would love to do it again at some point. I'm moving back blonder, as you can see, so you might see it again in the future. And I did a look with a dress that kind of mimicked the hair. I'll try to insert the picture here if I can find it. And um, these nails are like a holographic mermaid paradise color. It's an ombre. You've got kind of a blue purple to a purple pink to a pink blue all the way down to green and yellow. How fun is that? Like I want to put these on so bad if I weren't taking photos in that um, in a couple days here. So um, let's pull these out of the box. Oh and this set is the Aurora set. And both the Madame set and the Aurora set are currently $12.74 for the set. Now I know the holographic nature of these is probably a little hard to pick up with all the lighting and stuff, but guys, oh my gosh, again, I'll try to insert pictures. This is gorgeous. You got the extra pieces on the back here with your glue and your cuticle stick. So you are ready to go. All right, and the last set is the set that I am going to apply on camera and talk about which I thought would be best with the dress, like I said, and that is the Stardust set. It is currently $14.99 and it is kind of this shimmery, again, I know it's hard to pick up on camera, but we'll do a close up when I get them on my hands. It's sort of an iridescent with silver glitter, which I think is really, really pretty. Again, this is called Stardust and I feel like it's also great for the holidays. So this video is coming just in time for the holidays. So if you are looking for nails or lashes for someone for the holidays, uh, they've got you covered. These are awesome. I love them. So, all right, let's get to work trying on this Stardust set. Okay guys, so we are going to try on these nails. I'm going to show you as much as I can right here and anything that I can, I'm going to do down on the table. Um, first thing it says is to remove any previous nail polish, which I assumed. So my nails are very naked right now. I already did that ahead of time. Uh, wash and dry hands. They are washed and dried. Then to push back cuticles using the cuticle stick and sanitize nails with the alcohol pads. They actually include that in the kits as well, which is super nice. So as you can see right here, you will just use this to press down your cuticles if you've never used one before. Um, sometimes if you do have kind of hands from warm water, it's a little bit easier to do. And you can use one of the cuticle removers too if you need them. Definitely don't be afraid to go snag a pair of those at the store. Again, I'm just pressing the cuticle down. 
Now guys, recently I had been doing my nail appointments with acrylics and I finally took them off because they needed a break. So my nails are kind of not the cutest right now, um, but they are getting close to grown out. So yes, sorry for the janky nails. They definitely are in need of these press-ons right now. Now, if you decide that you love press-on nails, maybe it's your first time using them. I really do like press-ons. I use them fairly often, but um, you might want to get one of the actual tools. I don't know the name for it. it. It is, it presses your cuticles down. It's basically this kind of a shape or sometimes at a slant that is made out of metal because these really are meant to be used a couple times maybe and then tossed. It's great that they include this for you so that if you don't have that, you have a way to work with your cuticle. But just so you know, definitely consider grabbing one of those as well. All right, now cuticles are pressed out of the way. So now we can use the alcohol pad included in the kit to wipe everything down. So we're gonna just take this and wipe off the nail area. All right, so you guys can see there are a whole bunch of nails included in this kit. So the next thing you wanna do is size each individual nail and literally do every nail on your finger because my right thumb and my left thumb were different sizes. So you're gonna have several of the same size, several of a different size, et cetera, et cetera, because you might actually use one of the sizes multiple times on different fingers. Like for me, I think my index and my ring fingers were the same size nail. So you're gonna wanna slide every single nail down over your natural nail and see how it fits along the cuticle line and the side of the nail. See if you have any overlap, if it's too big, too small. Try a couple different ones because it might seem good and then you try another size and it's actually better. So you're literally gonna do that with every nail. You're just gonna kind of fit it loosely over, see how that looks, find the right sizing and lay it out hand by hand. Then you are going to have this little glue guy inside. You're going to open this up and there is a tip that is open and you are just going to use it like glue. And what I mean by that is on the back of the box it says to apply an even layer of glue to the natural nail and to the back of the glamnetic nail. Once you do that you're going to align the nail with the cuticle line and apply at a downward angle. Press down firmly and hold for 10 to 20 seconds. So let's get these bad boys on. All right, guys, so here is the finished look with these sparkly nails. I do love them. They almost have a little bit of a blue-green tint um, under the lighting that I had, but I think it depends on the light you're in. Again, it's kind of that holographic quality that they have on their box, so I absolutely love them. Let me give you a close-up. Now I do want to mention these are longer press-ons than I'm used to, which I love how it looks, don't get me wrong, but it's a little difficult um, the longer they are when you start switching hands and stuff to actually apply them. And the glue, if you get it anywhere, it's going to be st stuck on you. So just be very careful when you apply so that you don't have glue all over. I did make a little bit of a mess this time, um, but they're super easy to do. Press-ons are great to have around any day. I do love having them and I think this color is really really beautiful and it's going to look great with all of my holiday looks for this season. So now let me give you my final thoughts. All right so first let's talk about the eyeliner. Again this was the felt tip um, deep space eyeliner and it worked really well. It went on very easily but something I am noticing as I have the lashes on during the video here is that you really do want to get like a, I don't want to say a thick line, but a thick enough line that the lashes really want to grab to that magnet. Don't go overly thin with it. Get a nice sturdy line for the lashes to grab onto. And I would recommend keeping it on you just in case if you're out running around and you have a little slip up, that way it's really easy to reapply if any of the liner comes off. But overall, I do like this. It felt familiar. It felt similar enough to the other felt pens that I have used that I had a very easy time with it. So again, if you're used to a different type of liner though, they did have other options on the website. So check out all the different magnetic liners. And I would say stick to something that feels familiar to you because because it's gonna make this whole process a breeze. Now, as for the lashes, this is definitely my favorite part of this video. They were so easy. I have been terrified of trying them. I have been so scared. And this, I'm just, I'm sold. Like I'm gonna be doing magnetic lashes from here on out, no joke, because it was so much easier than a regular lash. Like, guys, go try some go get some of their lashes. Um, 
So again, just things I'm learning as I go. The anchor points are going to be very important. You can see I've got a little bit of lifting on the inner corner here. If you like that really full where you're not gonna snip your lashes down at all, make sure you put the anchors on. I don't have it on right now, but that when I had the anchor on, it held it right down in place. So um, those anchor points are gonna be important if you want that entire big lash. So um, that's what's gonna keep that. I can see exactly why they give you those now because that's gonna fix that problem. So if you wanna wear the big full long lash and not snip at all, problem solved. I do think the more that I looked at the two that I tried on between the Lucky and the XOXO that I preferred the Lucky, but I do like both. I think they have a different mood and I think it depends on what I am going to be doing. And then of course we have the Verified that I didn't try on in the video, but I will try to find a picture of someone wearing them to insert right here. And I'm very excited to try these two. They look fun. So if you're not following me on Instagram, I will try to do an update with these on as I try them different days. So go follow me over on Instagram and also go check out my lifestyle channel. I have decided recently that this channel is going to be kind of a product testing channel now. And then my lifestyle stuff like my sewing, my adventures, my gardening is going to be over on my lifestyle channel, which is Hello Heather Rose. So I'll leave a link to that here too. And you guys can go check that out if you like that kind of content. All right. As for the press-on nails, um, my review of these is they're good. I, I feel like they're your standard press-on nail, but what I really do like about theirs that I think is different than other press-on nails is they have a really cool range of styles. I just thought some of their color schemes, some of their designs were really current where sometimes with press on nails, I feel like they get a little outdated. These are very hip, very current with their styles and they're very reasonable on price too. So I would definitely, definitely buy these again as well. Overall, I'm obsessed. I can't believe I waited this long to try a magnetic lash because I, I did, this is so easy and I will be wearing lashes all the time now going forward. Don't forget to use that code SASSY15. I will leave a link to all the products as well as their website and that discount code for you guys again down in the description box. If you guys enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. It really helps the channel out and leave me a comment. I always love chatting with you guys. Let me know what you thought. Like I said, I'm fully obsessed. I am definitely a convert to magnetic lashes after this. Thank you so much again to Glamnetic for thinking of me. It is an honor and I love the product. So I will see you guys in the next video. Have a great holiday season and a great rest of the week. Bye.